Neptunium is a chemical element with symbol NP and atomic number 93, a radioactive actinide metal. Neptunium is the first transuranic element. Its position in the periodic table just after uranium, named after the planet Uranus, led to it being named after Neptune, the next planet beyond Uranus. A Neptunium atom has 93 protons and 93 electrons, of which 7 are valence electrons. Neptunium metal is silvery and tarnishes when exposed to air. The element occurs in three allotropic forms and it normally exhibits five oxidation states, ranging from plus 3 to plus 7. It is radioactive, poisonous, pyrophoric, and can accumulate in bones, which makes the handling of Neptunium dangerous. Although many false claims of its discovery were made over the years, the element was first synthesized by Edwin McMillan and Philip H. Abelson at the Berkeley Radiation Laboratory in 1940. Since then, most Neptunium has been and still is produced by neutron irradiation of uranium in nuclear reactors. The vast majority is generated as a byproduct in conventional nuclear power reactors. While Neptunium itself has no commercial uses at present, it is widely used as a precursor for the formation of plutonium-238, used in radioisotope thermal generators to provide electricity for spacecraft. Neptunium has also been used in detectors of high-energy neutrons. The most stable isotope of neptunium, neptunium-237, is a byproduct of nuclear reactors and plutonium production. It, and the isotope neptunium-239, are also found in trace amounts in uranium ores due to neutron capture reactions and beta decay. Characteristics Physical neptunium is a hard, silvery, ductile, radioactive actinide metal. Neptunium is a hard metal, having a bulk modulus of 118 gigapascals, comparable to that of manganese. Neptunium metal is similar to uranium in terms of physical workability. When exposed to air at normal temperatures, it forms a thin oxide layer. This reaction proceeds more rapidly as the temperature increases. Neptunium has been determined to melt at 639 plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius. This low melting point, a property the metal shares with the neighboring element plutonium, is due to the hybridization of the 5f and 6d orbitals and the formation of directional bonds in the metal. The boiling point of neptunium is not empirically known and the usually given value of 4174 degrees Celsius is extrapolated from the vapor pressure of the element. If accurate, this would give neptunium the largest liquid range of any element. Neptunium is found in at least three allotropes. Some claims of a fourth allotrope have been made, but they are so far not proven. This multiplicity of allotropes is common among the actinides. The crystal structures of neptunium, protactinium, uranium, and plutonium do not have clear analogues among the lanthanides and are more similar to those of the 3D transition metals. Alpha neptunium takes on an orthorhombic structure, resembling a highly distorted body-centered cubic structure. Each neptunium atom is coordinated to four others and the NPNP bond lengths are 260 pm. Alpha neptunium has semi-metallic properties, such as strong covalent bonding and a high electrical resistivity, and its metallic physical properties are closer to those of the metalloids than the true metals. Some allotropes of the other actinides also exhibit similar behavior, though to a lesser degree. The densities of different isotopes of neptunium in the alpha phase are expected to be observably different. Alpha-235 nepas should have density 20.303 g per cc. Alpha-236 nepas, density 20.389 g per cc. Alpha-237 nepas, density 20.476 g per cc. Beta neptunium takes on a distorted tetragonal close-packed structure. Four atoms of neptunium make up a unit cell, and the NPNP bond lengths are 276 pm. 
gamma neptunium has a body-centered cubic structure and has NPNP bond length of 297 pm. The gamma form becomes less stable with increased pressure, though the melting point of neptunium also increases with pressure. The beta NP, gamma NP, liquid triple point occurs at 725 degrees Celsius and 3200 MPa. Alloys due to the presence of valence 5F electrons, neptunium and its alloys exhibit very interesting magnetic behavior, like many other actinides. These can range from the itinerant band, like character characteristic of the transition metals to the local moment behavior typical of scandium, yttrium, and the lanthanides. This stems from 5F orbital hybridization with the orbitals of the metal ligands and the fact that the 5F orbital is relativistically destabilized and extends outwards. For example, pure neptunium is paramagnetic, NPAL-3 is ferromagnetic, NPGE-3 has no magnetic ordering, and NPSN-3 behaves fermionically. Investigations are underway regarding alloys of neptunium with uranium, americium, plutonium, zirconium, and iron, so as to recycle long-lived waste isotopes such as neptunium-237 into shorter-lived isotopes more useful as nuclear fuel. One neptunium-based superconductor alloy has been discovered with formula NPPD5Al2. This occurrence in neptunium compounds is somewhat surprising because they often exhibit strong magnetism, which usually destroys superconductivity. The alloy has a tetragonal structure with a superconductivity transition temperature of minus 268.3 degrees Celsius. Chemical neptunium has five ionic oxidation states ranging from plus 3 to plus 7 when forming chemical compounds which can be simultaneously observed in solutions. It is the heaviest actinide that can lose all its valence electrons in a stable compound. The most stable state in solution is plus 5, but the valence plus 4 is preferred in solid neptunium compounds. Neptunium metal is very reactive. Ions of neptunium are prone to hydrolysis and formation of coordination compounds. Atomic A neptunium atom has 93 electrons, arranged in the configuration Rn 5F46 D7 times 2. This differs from the configuration expected by the Alf-Bohr principle in that one electron is in the 6D subshell instead of being as expected in the 5F subshell. This is because of the similarity of the electron energies of the 5F, 6D, and 7S subshells. In forming compounds and ions, all the valence electrons may be lost, leaving behind an inert core of inner electrons with the electron configuration of the noble gas radon. More commonly, only some of the valence electrons will be lost. The electron configuration for the tri-positive ion NP3 plus is RN5F4, with the outermost 7S and 6D electrons lost first. This is exactly analogous to neptunium's lanthanide homologue promethium, and conforms to the trend set by the other actinides with their RN5FN electron configurations in the tripositive state. The first ionization potential of neptunium was measured to be at most EV in 1974, based on the assumption that the 7S electrons would ionize before 5F and 6D. More recent measurements have refined this to 6.2657 electron volts. Isotopes 20 neptunium radioisotopes have been characterized with the most stable being 237 nepas with a half-life of 2.14 million years, 236 nepas with a half-life of 154,000 years, and 235 nepas with a half-life of 396.1 days. All of the remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 4.5 days, and the majority of these have half-lives that are less than 50 minutes. This element also has at least four metastates, with the most stable being 236 MNP with a half-life of 22.5 hours. 
the isotopes of neptunium range in atomic weight from 225.0339 U to 244.068 U. Most of the isotopes that are lighter than the most stable one, 237 nepers, decay primarily by electron capture although a sizable number, most notably 229 nepers and 230 nepers, also exhibit various levels of decay via alpha emission to become protactinium. 237 nepers itself decays almost exclusively by alpha emission into 233 pascals. All of the known isotopes except one that are heavier than this decay exclusively via beta emission. The lone exception, 240 mnp, exhibits a rare decay by isomeric transition in addition to the beta emission. 237 nepers eventually decays to form bismuth 209 and thallium 205. Unlike most other common heavy nuclei which decay into isotopes of lead, this decay chain is known as the Neptunium series. The isotopes Neptunium-235, minus 236, and minus 237 are predicted to be fissile. Only Neptunium-237's fission ability has been experimentally shown, with the critical mass being about 60 kg, only about 10 kg more than that of the commonly used Uranium-235. Calculated values of the critical masses of Neptunium-235, minus 236, and minus 237 respectively are 66.2 kg, 6.79 kg, and 63.6 kg. The Neptunium-236 value is even lower than that of Plutonium-239. In particular, 236 Nepers also has a low neutron cross-section. Despite this, a Neptunium atomic bomb has never been built. Uranium and plutonium have lower critical masses than 235 Nepers and 237 Nepers and 236 nepers is difficult to purify as it is not found in quantity in spent nuclear fuel and is nearly impossible to separate in any significant quantities from its parent 237 nepers. A current since all isotopes of neptunium have half-lives that are many times shorter than the age of the Earth. Any primordial neptunium should have decayed by now. After only about 80 million years, the concentration of even the longest-lived isotope, 237 nepers, would have been reduced to less than one trillionth of its original amount, and even if the whole Earth had initially been made of pure 237 nepers, 2,100 half-lives would have passed since the formation of the solar system, and thus all of it would have decayed. Thus Neptunium is present in nature only in negligible amounts produced as intermediate decay products of other isotopes. Trace amounts of the Neptunium isotopes Neptunium-237, minus 239, and minus 240 are found naturally as decay products from transmutation reactions in uranium ores. In particular, 239 nepers and 237 nepers are the most common of these isotopes. They are directly formed from neutron capture by uranium-238 atoms. These neutrons come from the spontaneous fission of uranium-238, naturally neutron-induced fission of uranium-235, cosmic ray spallation of nuclei, and light elements absorbing alpha particles and emitting a neutron. The half-life of 239 nepers is far too short for it to be produced as fast as it decays and retain a constant concentration, despite it continuously being produced. Although the detection of its much longer-lived daughter 239 Pu in nature in 1951 definitively established its natural occurrence, in 1952, 237 nepers was identified and isolated from concentrates of uranium or from the Belgian Congo. In these minerals, the ratio of neptunium-237 to uranium is less than or equal to about 10-12 to 1. 
Finally, the short-lived 240 nephers occurs as an intermediate in the decay chain of primordial 244 Pu. Most Neptunium now encountered in the environment is due to atmospheric nuclear explosions that took place between the detonation of the first atomic bomb in 1945 and the ratification of the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963. The total amount of Neptunium released by these explosions and the few atmospheric tests that have been carried out since 1963 is estimated to be around 2,500 kg. The overwhelming majority of this is composed of the long-lived isotopes 236 Nepers and 237 Nepers since even the moderately long-lived 235 Nepers would have decayed to less than one billionth its original concentration over the intervening decades. An additional very small amount of neptunium created by neutron irradiation of natural uranium in nuclear reactor cooling water is released when the water is discharged into rivers or lakes. The concentration of 237 nepers in seawater is approximately 6.5 times 10 minus 5 millibecquerels per litre. This concentration is between 0.1% and 1% that of plutonium. Once in the environment, neptunium generally oxidizes fairly quickly, usually to the plus 4 or plus 5 state. Regardless of its oxidation state, the element exhibits a much greater mobility than the other actinides, largely due to its ability to readily form aqueous solutions with various other elements. In one study comparing the diffusion rates of neptunium, plutonium, and americium in sandstone and limestone, neptunium penetrated more than 10 times as well as the other elements. NP will also react efficiently in pH levels greater than 5.5 if there are no carbonates present and in these conditions it has also been observed to readily bond with quartz. It has also been observed to bond well with goethite, ferric oxide colloids, and several clays including kaolinite and smectite. NP does not bond as readily to soil particles in mildly acidic conditions as its fellow actinides americium and curium by nearly an order of magnitude. NP is also readily absorbed by concrete, which because of the element's radioactivity is a consideration that must be addressed when building nuclear waste storage facilities. When absorbed in concrete, it is reduced to NP in a relatively short period of time. NP is also reduced by humic acid if it is present on the surface of goethite, hematite, and magnetite. NP is absorbed efficiently by tuff, granodiorite, and bentonite, although uptake by the latter is most pronounced in mildly acidic conditions. It also exhibits a strong tendency to bind to colloidal particulates, an effect that is enhanced when in soil with a high clay content. The behavior provides an additional aid in the element's observed high mobility.